Hi, my name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Nothing is ever, as it seems, nothing is ever sold to the American people. Nothing's ever sold to the world, right? right? Propaganda-wise or uh, agenda-driven, uh, dialogue-wise. Nothing is what it seems, and it seems that nobody cares. They'll just repeat whatever the hell is put before them in order to uh, propagate this agenda. And this agenda is war. War. We kill. We succeed. We imagine that there's some kind of uh, glory in uh, in this football-type uh, matchup between Russia, the Ukraine, the United States. Fill in the blank. East Africa, North Africa, the Middle East. You, name, you fill in the country and you get the same game plan. A bunch of cowardice, backstabbing politicians on one side telling you why we need to do it, and a bunch of cowardly, backstabbing politicians on the other side pretending to be a, a vote of reason or a voice of reason. The only way this changes, it depends on what color the crown is uh, at that time. What term? Is it a red term or a blue term? Look, Ukraine right now, all over the news, Bill O'Reilly, every other... Uh, a uh, person that can get in front of a camera and and has influence, unfortunately, in establishment media, is rattling the sabers. John McCain is out there once again rattling the sabers. We have to be more tough. Our feckless, whatever that means, foreign policy, is the reason for this crisis in the Ukraine. We're backing the the people of Ukraine. We're backing freedom. We're backing sovereignty of a nation. This is a lie. This is a lie that so many of our young men and women inevitably end up getting put into a uniform and a gun put into their hand so they can go and defend and uphold and carry out a blatant lie. So what's going on in Ukraine? Well, anything and everything but our business, anything and everything that uh, that would uh, be a reason to escalate uh, to this Cold War level of talk. But it certainly isn't what the powers that be want you to believe which is Russia's swooping in and stealing the freedom away from the people of Ukraine. The fact of the matter is we have been meddling in Ukraine for a long, long time. It's a pet project of the CIA. And don't take my word for it. Dennis Kucinich, interviewed by Bill O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly just yesterday, the Congressman Dennis Kucinich, a sane voice of reason at times uh, coming out of Washington, D.C., breaks it down, tells you exactly what's going on. You said... The United States Agency uh, for International Development, uh, along with the National Endowment uh, for Democracy, International Democracy, two quasi-government agencies that you get to pay for, right? They've implemented over 65 programs inside of Ukraine to what? Destabilize that government. And that's exactly where we're at. We have a destabilized Ukraine that is at the point of crisis you have a bunch of uh, turncoats in Washington, D.C. that are trying to gin up hostility towards Russia, trying to bring us back to uh, the brinkmanship of the Cold War to deflect, to defer, and to do anything but provide you the truth, the reason why hostilities are rising, the reason why there's going to be suffering down the road. It's a complete and utter lie. So what's at the baseline? What's always at the baseline? The vulturous International Monetary Fund sitting on the wire, waiting for the corpse to fall over so it can go in and pick its bones, along with this Cold War relic called NATO that is uh, ever in, ever uh, uh, increasing ability to uh, uh, expand its uh, roles and expand its borders. The IMF wants to in implement austerity inside of Ukraine, just like it's done through periphery nations uh, throughout Europe. So fill in Cyprus, fill in Greece, fill in suffering. Fill in 30% unemployment. Fill in the International Monetary Fund, stripping, destroying, and taking the sovereignty away from the people of Ukraine and usurping that for themselves, their power, and their nation's wealth, all in the name of spreading democracy and economic stability. NATO, they want the deal signed for the West so that they can get that much closer to the borders of Russia. Nothing is as it seems. Our government... Our funds, our money, our future, right, that is being taken from us, 65 programs through quasi-government agencies we get to pay for, 
to destabilize Ukraine. And we have fools in the establishment media, fools or shills, whatever you prefer, who want to sell you on the notion that this is about freedom. This is about democracy, sovereignty, the nation of Ukraine. It is a complete and utter lie. And what has me so passionate, what has me so uh, upset of this about this is week after week, month after month, we just keep getting fed the same diatribe of felonious bullcrap that is supposed to gin up this patriotic fervor. If you want to be a patriot, you know, if you want to feel this sense of patriotism, justice, if you want to uh, feel the uh, effects of liberty, we need to do what this nation was founded to do, which is stay the hell out of another nation's business, respect the sovereignty of individuals, and respect the sovereignty of nations, and quit meddling in this in this entire planet as if we have some divine right to do so. It inevitably ends up with people in bodies bags, and this situation could potentially lead to something akin to the Cold War or much, much worse. Wake up, America. Bill O'Reilly is not serving your interests when he's interviewing somebody like Dennis Kucinich, right? Uh, uh, John McCain isn't serving the people of Arizona or anybody in this country when he consistently is raising that saber saying, we need to be less feckless and more effective in our foreign policy. We need to wake up and realize that the International Monetary Fund and a bunch of globalist elite bankers have an agenda to destabilize this planet so they can control everything and they're getting their way. Stories are attached. That's all I got.